Get up, stretch my legs. Wash my teeth up, wash my face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Start my day. Wake up, get up, stretch my legs. Eat some breakfast, milk and eggs. Brush my teeth up, wash my face. Throw my clothes on, start my day. Wake up, I can smell the smoke from the bacon. What are you, early? Before I go ahead and jump into this video, let me introduce myself. My name is Zach, but a lot of people call me Bones. I'm a 27 year old general contractor here in the Pacific Northwest. And if you're watching this video, that must mean that you have an interest in what I do in a day. Each day varies. Some days I'm out on the job site swinging a hammer and other days I'm locked up in the office working on estimates. And with that, let's jump into the video so you can see what one of my days looks like. Ooh, wait, one more thing. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Today, we have a pretty busy day. We have a new job starting off the island, so I need to go ahead and pick up the flooring for that. Then I'll head out to the job site and get the guys going on it. Once I've got them squared away, I need to come back here and work on refinishing a door for our bathroom remodel project that we have going on. Then after that, I need to play a little bit of catch up with some estimates. So let's get to it. This guy, Don, running the Mission to Home Depot to grab this flooring right here. So now we gotta get this loaded up in the back of the trailer here so we can get it out to the job site. All right, now time to go pick up one of our workers and head out to the job site. We are here, so let's go check this place out. So with this job, what we're gonna be doing is replacing the flooring as well as the baseboard. The reason why there was a fridge over here and the supply line for it actually busted and got this whole area right here soaked underneath the flooring. And so that has to get pulled out and uh, replaced. And unfortunately, due to when this house was built, we can no longer match the model of flooring that is currently installed here. So we have to pull all of that back out through this whole entire main area. Thankfully, it's fairly open, um, but yeah. So we have to go ahead, get all the old flooring torn out, put in the new stuff. So we've got Jacob and Caleb uh, getting after that. One of the things that we had to settle this morning, since this is an insurance job, is trying to figure out for the baseboard. I'm not sure why, but every time I deal with insurance, it seems like the hill that they want to die on is with baseboard and I, don't know why. Usually what we want to do is remove and replace. So this older MDF type baseboard, if you just remove it, it ends up with these nail holes on the back side. it kind of pops out. The front ends up looking really crummy. We like to make sure that we're trying to do quality work. Insurance always wants us to detach or reset. So what that means is that they want us to take this piece, take it off, and then reinstall it here later. Well, that's a lot easier said than done because this stuff is MDF, so when it comes out, it falls apart just like this. I'm not really sure why that seems to be something that insurance fights us on, uh, but unfortunately, this stuff was glued on the corners, so I'm gonna be putting in an adjustment to go ahead and get it so that we can just remove and replace for the baseboard. But with that, I've gotta run off to a different job, so we're gonna, we're gonna take off here. All right, now that I'm back to the island, I need to work on refinishing this door that we have for a bathroom remodel that we're working on. As you can see, it's this interesting green, like blue-green type color. We're just gonna paint it white. There's a particular process that you wanna follow when doing this, just so that the paint the new paint that you put on it doesn't bubble and flake off. There's a little bit of a reflection off of this door. So that tells you that there's still quite a bit of the sheen from the old paint left on it. So if I were to try to apply new paint to it right now, it would just bubble and flake off. First things first, you wanna go ahead and sand the door. Now that the door is sanded, we wanna go ahead and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth or a tag cloth to make sure that this door is absolutely clean before we go ahead and put on the primer. Now that the door is all cleaned up, we need to put on a coat of primer. I prefer to use Zinsser Cover Stain. I find that that creates the best adhesion for the paint so it doesn't flake off. And we're gonna be using a quarter inch nap roller 
That way we can get a nice smooth finish with no ripples. Now that the primer's all dried on the door, we're gonna go ahead and put on the first coat of paint. What I'm using is Benjamin Moore Scuff-X. This is a great paint for high traffic areas and it goes on nice and smooth. And once again, we're gonna be using a quarter inch nap roller to roll this on so it stays nice and smooth. With the first coat of paint now dry, it's time to put on the second coat. The second coat of paint is now dry on this door, so we can put on the hardware and go install it. Now that the door is all finished, I really need to work on these estimates. I run most of the estimates for my dad's company, and unfortunately, I've been pulled out of the office quite a bit lately, so I'm pretty backed up and need to crank through these things. Well, it's about four o'clock. I've been going since six o'clock this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up with work stuff and go for a run. Currently, I'm training for a marathon that's in about a month and a half, so today I get to do an eight mile run. It's very important to me to try to maintain good health. I believe the old saying is health is well. So I try to exercise for at least 30 minutes every single day, whether that's running, lifting, or some other form of exercise. I find that I'm more productive and just overall feel better whenever I stay consistent with working out. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and go on my run. See you when I get back. We've got eight miles down, so I need to go inside, clean up a little bit, take a shower, eat some dinner, and then I need to start editing videos. It's about seven o'clock at night now, and I'm gonna spend the next few hours working on editing videos. Depending on the amount of content, as well as the flow of the video, it takes me about 10 to 12 hours each week to produce a video. And I'm still learning and wanting to produce better videos so I also spend a lot of time doing research on different things like editing techniques and how to make the flow of the video go much better. <laughs> All right, well, it's 9.30 at night now, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up with the editing. I like to spend the last hour of my day reading a book, so unfortunately, that means we've reached the worst part of this video, which is the end. So if you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, I'll see you on the next one. Ooh.